last video, we discussed the human element of extinction. But what is being done worldwide to help slow that trend? My name's Stacy with Six Flags Great Adventure and Safari. Today, we are going to discuss what is being done, both globally and locally, to help promote the sustainable use and management of natural resources, as well as animal habitats. On a global scale, we are seeing an increased use of renewable resources. These are any resource that can be replenished or replaced over time, such as wood, water, wind, and solar energy. We are seeing a decreased use of non-renewable resources, or things that cannot renew themselves within human lifetimes, such as fossil fuels and minerals. Also on a global scale, treaties have been established, such as CITES, or the Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora which protects plants and animals on a global scale. In addition, conservation groups have aligned their efforts around the globe to combat the poaching of animal species and help increase the awareness of animals going extinct and the impact that it would have on the environment. On more of a national level, we have seen the creation of national parks. They preserve habitats to restrict or eliminate human development in natural areas through the establishment of public lands. Since their creation, many species have seen an increase in their populations, including the American bison. The Marine Mammal Protection Act of 1972 was established to protect the survival of marine mammals and the health of our marine ecosystem. The current status of many marine mammals have seen increases in their populations, including seals and sea lions. The Endangered Species Act of 1973 authorized the acquisition of land by the federal government to protect critical habitats of species included on the list. In order to save a species, you have to rely heavily on scientific understanding of their biology, niche, and relationship with their environment. In order to help the bald eagle, the government's management plan accounted for protection of bald eagle habitats and food sources in order to support the growth of the species. In 2007, the bald eagle came off the endangered species list and is currently listed as least concern. The National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA, requires local, state, and federal agencies to undertake environmental impact studies to see how a new project plan will affect the environment. On a more local level, other agencies such as the Department of Wildlife Management, U.S. Fish and Wildlife, and the Department of Environmental Protection regulate game species and hunting seasons, control of invasive species, and the preservation and restoration of local habitats you can see that a lot of policies are already in place to protect the planet and its species. But there is still more that can be done. Next video, we will discuss the efforts of zoological facilities and what you can do in your local communities to help endangered and threatened species. Thanks again for joining us and make it a wild day.